morning. So today for Vlogmas I wanted to do my sewing pattern, my Black Friday sewing pattern haul. And I haven't purchased much of anything in the way of patterns or um, other than the odd craft supply here and there over the past, you know, year or so. And so I took advantage of the Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, Cyber Monday, that whole weekend. All um, There were several different sales and I took advantage of them because I wanted to pick up a couple sewing patterns and knitting patterns. So today I'm going to be talking about these sewing patterns that I purchased. All of the patterns that I got were actually from one sewing pattern company and that's from Deer and Doe Patterns. Now, Deer and Doe is one of my favorite, all-time favorite sewing pattern companies. I love the the way they package their physical patterns and the paper that they use. I love that paper. I always trace off my sewing patterns and so the regular standard tissue paper that most sewing pattern companies use is just a pain to work with. But Deer and Doe Patterns and Pauline Alice Patterns are two of the um, companies that I have found that use this nice sturdy paper and I love that. <laughs> In addition to really liking the paper and all of that for Deer and Doe, I am a big fan of a lot of their different designs. Some of their newer designs I'm not so fond of, but a lot of their older ones I really, really like. Actually, I'm wearing a hack of their Blue A dress pattern, which is a shirt dress pattern. I just put a blog post about this particular dress up on my Minerva blog yesterday, so if you're interested, I'll link it down below. But I really, really like their patterns. So they were having their Black Friday sale and I picked up five different patterns. And the first one that I'm going to talk about is, and forgive me, I do not know French. And this is a French sewing pattern company. And they have the most beautiful names for all of their patterns. I'm going to probably butcher them. <laughs> but the first one is the Luzerne trench coat. I'll pop pictures of each one of them up here so you can see the actual design. It's this really classic trench coat design and it's just perfect. It's not lined or anything so it would be a beautiful like early fall, late spring type of a jacket that you can just throw on over dresses or whatever uh, and I'm actually really excited about it. I wasn't planning to purchase it when I went to just kind of browse through their catalog but I saw it and I realized how versatile something like that would be. I would really like to do that. I don't know when it'll happen because I've been really busy recently. But that is one of my goals is to make a trench coat because I think that it would be very, very nice and a very classic piece to have in my wardrobe. The next one is the Ariel blouse. Ariel? I don't know. <laughs> Which is just a very beautiful, classic, simple blouse. One of the versions has like a little Peter Pan collar. Uh, it has these cute little sleeves. And one of my goals for the next, I don't know, bit is to get a few more just classic blouses in my wardrobe. You know, just simple ones like a gray and a black and a white and just all of those very neutral colors that can be vital for putting together outfits. And I don't really have any. So. <laughs> I really, really like the design style of this blouse and I'm hoping to whip up a few of them. Next one is a Soru dress. Now this dress is just, I've seen a couple different versions uh, and it looks so beautiful. Just so classic and simple. It's got the faux button placket down the front, the little feminine delicate gathers over the bust and I really like it. I'm actually, this is a little bit of a spoiler, I'm actually planning to make my birthday dress with this pattern out of some gorgeous Liberty of London fabric. And I can't wait. And I am going to be making a vlog for that and I should probably hurry up and get started considering my birthday is next, not next week, the week after. <laughs> I have less than two weeks left basically. So, but I'm very, very excited. This dress was like the main reason I was checking out their catalog just browsing through and there, there were several ones that I had been wanting for a while but this was like one of the top ones. <laughs> the next one I bought almost on a little bit of a whim and that's the Audubon dress. 
it is more of an empire race dress which is not my usual style I very much like things that sit at the natural waistline but it has these beautiful like tucks across the front and on the sleeve they're just stunning and I did a little bit of googling and I was looking at different reviews and stuff and there are so many very pretty versions of it out there and I'd seen a couple where they basically lengthened the where the waist hits but and so it was more hitting more at your natural waistline and I just loved it like I have a feeling I'm gonna have to tweak it a bit to make it more wearable for me personally but I'm really excited because I just I love those pin tech details like it's such a small thing but it looks so so cool that's that one and then the last one I got is one that I've actually wanted for a very very long time and I just have it <laughs> it is the bouillie shirt and it's a classic button-up like almost tunic top shirt and I love the top portion of it I, I don't really wear tunics at all however if you just take that bottom panel off it, may, it looks like it will make a fantastic bodice for a dress you could put a circle skirt on there you could put just a basic fled skirt on there you could do a gathered skirt just a classic shirt dress and I'm very excited about this one because I have several pieces of flannel in my uh, fabric stash that I want to use up and I think that this will be amazing and it will look so 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 good those are the five that I got I'm very excited about them and I'm really happy with the purchases that I made uh, I dislike having loads of excess sewing patterns just hanging about and I got the PDF versions of all of these so they're all just on my computer which is even better because like the digital storage aspect of it you don't have them just floating around. I also dislike having a bunch of patterns around that I'm not going to make. So over the past couple of years I've actually drastically reduced the number of patterns, like physical sewing patterns that I have. I have very, very few. At some point here I'm planning to do a little bit of a, I don't know, sewing creative studio tour type of a thing and I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you the number of patterns that I have but it's not very many and I try to be very careful when purchasing new ones so that I'm sure that there's something that I will make and I'm about 97% sure that every one of these are going to be ones that I will make at least once so I'm very excited about it have you gotten any sewing patterns over the Black, Black Friday sales or anything like that um, I would love it if you would share it down below um, and feel free to like and subscribe I've been doing vlogmas this month if you can't tell <laughs> considering this is a vlogmas video but um, there's that and I just uploaded my second episode for my knitting and sewing podcast the teacup mouse podcast which is very exciting because it was a bit of work to get it up and ready to go but that is all I have for this video and stay tuned for the knitting pattern haul that I'm planning to upload tomorrow for now you have a good day and I will see you later Bye.